Hi, thank you for tuning in. And this recording, I'm just going to go over a few messages that I've been receiving and just um, in dream state and uh, in contemplation. And uh, also a couple of conversations that have been really significant over the past week or so. I've been having a cold, which is finally clearing up now. Um, I do believe that this is part of, you know, the process of clearing out old density, old energy, releasing it. Um, there was stuff happening within the chest that ha- that helped to expand the heart chakra, opening up to more love. And in doing so, we are opening up so we can give and receive more fully without judgment, without manipulation, without any of that stuff um i do feel lots of people are being guided and opened up into their higher states of consciousness higher states of being this is going to continue to happen especially with advanced souls there are many advanced souls that have very special gifts and are very unique and very part of the divine plan and they're needed at this time. The messages, the way that they see things um, is so unique and so divine and so inspiring that, you know, it could be frightening for the soul to realize this or step into that realization of this is what's happening to me on this subatomic level or whatever type of levels, multidimensional levels, however you want to see it. Um, But this is happening and so many different people's lives right now. And for us to really uh, have compassion to all of those who are in our lives, all of those that we come across, all of those that we're blessed to you know, be part of their lives and their awakenings, uh, this is a really important and significant time for each and every one of us. Uh, if you feel like mission, uh, sacred mission could be put into that, those words, Um, Also, lots of tribes coming together, meaning uh, your soul team, your soul family, the ones that are meant to come together, coming together. um, They're just vibrating together. They're magnetizing each other on on this level. And that's going to continue to happen. Uh, I know a lot of people are having that message. And um, I do believe that will continue to happen. And also in the dream state, uh, you could be working through a lot of different uh, releasing fears, messages, uh, working in, you know, lots of different messages coming through in the dream state for me anyways. And I know for many others, um, the dream state is a really powerful time to receive messages it's a really powerful time to see like okay which direction am i being asked to go into right now a lot of us are going to be changing certain directions changing the way that we do things i know i personally have been praying about it about which direction i'm going to take my channel into um, how it's going to evolve usually it's just okay whatever comes and i set that out but um you know also being asked to Uh, take some time for that allowing whatever needs to incubate whatever needs to um, needs your attention and your time so we're stepping up into that full moon so lots of releasing here right so things every time we're at a full moon it's time to release things are going to be coming up to the surface of fears doubts insecurities all that stuff coming up to the surface do not let yourself go into a downward spiral into old addictions or patterns that will lead you into you know into regret or into like dang like this is just something that keeps coming up and this is how I deal with it try to deal with it a certain way you know having that spiritual maturity having that maturity within yourself and recognizing okay this is coming up let me glide through it let me receive the messages because once you allow yourself to consciously feel it <clears throat> then you're opening yourself up to your divine wisdom to that to filter through to you so some it just takes time it takes practice and um you know we're all at different levels and we all have had many different agreements on what we're here to clear some people are here to clear a lot more tougher and denser type of um 
programs, if you will, um, denser belief systems. Uh, and, you know, if you're being asked to, <clears throat> to do that, you know, head steady with that um, and just, you know, try to look at things, you know, in, in the best possible way that you can. I know when you're in that, you really can't do that at the moment. But if you have someone that you trust and they're there for you, um, you know, that person that is there for you, they're God sent. And, you know, they're, they're not going to, they're not there for you just f for any, you know, uh, out of the blue, you know, everybody that is placed in our lives, they're there for a reason. You know, some people we do need to um, <clears throat> ask to get them out uh, because they are toxic. So recognizing toxic relationships, what is being asked for you to walk away from, um, toxic patternings in relationships, what is asked, okay, no more, okay, and being able to have those deep-hearted <clears throat> conversations with people that need to be dealt with, that need to be talked about. So I do feel like conversations are going to be opening up for a lot of people, um, and then this morning I had this so while I was in meditation I seen like this rocket just taking off and this means a lot of things this can mean um uh rockets mean you know taking off new ideas uh taking to the next level financially um you know, business-wise, relationship-wise, it could mean a lot of different things for different people. Because so kind of sit into what does a rocket launching mean to you? What are you going to launch off the ground? What is being asked for you to launch? Um, what is What ideas are coming up for you right now that you can take off of the ground and that you can kind of go with and trust that this is this direction or this way that you're being guided or this idea that has came and landed in your lap, that's the right way to go and it's going to launch. It's going to be big for you. Um, so really taking note and cue off of what that is and how you're going to be launching your next endeavor, your next um, process. How is that you know, going to benefit you and not just you, but others? So remember like every time from like if you want to talk about like just higher dimensions or you know whatever when we look at things and when we're stepping into more of our life purpose and we're being asked to step out how is this going to not just benefit you your family but other people around you and i always think about that too it's like okay when i do my work it's i'm not just you know doing it for self gain uh you know and i am yeah, I do charge for my sessions and whatnot. But if I'm being asked to step out, it's not just me that's going to benefit from this action that I take. It's other people are going to benefit from it as well. So who is it going to be benefiting? You and whatever organization you believe in. I do donate a percentage of what I make to charities that I believe in. Um, and I've mentioned that before. I do feel that that's very important that we are giving um, of, you know, percentage of what we make. And even if you have very little, you know, I know people that just have really great hearts and, you know, they give what they can to people, even if they don't have hardly anything. And that's, you know, that does show integrity. Um, so we do have that going on to to also remind us of uh, that whatever you're being asked for right now, it's not just going to bless you. It's going to bless many, many people. And, um, you know, that helps to release some of the fears, some of the doubts, some of the worry that you have about yourself, about maybe expanding education or spending uh, some finances in helping you to step into that next level of your beingness, or whatever that the case is for you. So, um, I think that's about it. Oh, one more thing. The last thing I wanted to touch on is the subject of free will, or God's will, divine will. When divine will meets free will, or, you know, there has been a talk, uh, which I think is a brilliant 
uh, subject is we don't really have free will the way we think we do. And I do find that to be true. I do find uh, lots of this energy to be true. So sit with that for a moment. See what comes to you when you think about free will, divine will. When divine will and free will meet or destiny, is there free will? You know, sit with that and see what comes to you. Um, like I had mentioned before, there's a lot of very gifted uh, people um, that are going through really tough initiations right now. Please, if you know somebody going through something like that, uh, pray for them because their soul mission is probably extremely sacred and something is really being asked for them and so hold them in divine love hold them in your prayers and your thoughts and your heart and try not to cast any judgments or project anything negative onto these people because they are going to be having really profound messages this is what i am feeling and that what i am seeing in my life and the ones that have um have this in them and we're going to continue to see this grow you know we're stepping out and if you've stepped out in your message or you have a message and it's coming or you're being asked to um, expand in a certain way uh, we all have our life mission here and it is to raise Christ consciousness, God consciousness, um, the awareness of whatever it is your soul mission is and whatever that looks like without any judgment on yourself or others. Um, you know, one thing my mom said, you know, everything is right and everything is wrong. <laughs> so, and, and that's true in a sense too. There's so much information out there. Everything is right and everything is wrong. And, you know, it, it's you have to find what resonates with you. And you gotta, we, it's all comes within the heart connection and that soul connection with the divine, with God. And I know for me, what's true is always reigns within my heart and my soul connection to God. And as long as that's on point, I'm good. And I'll always be led in the right direction. So let's really enjoy the last few weeks of this month. Uh, there is a full moon, so every time there's a full moon, of course, there's a lot to release. Some could be already feeling the effects of the full moon, like last week, uh, things coming up from the past, memories, um, fears, anxieties, old things, old patternings. Oh, that's how I used to do things. Okay, we need to reevaluate that. Um, check basically your inventory within. Also, um, how you treat others, where your energy needs to be, um, you know, just kind of checked. So check in with yourself if you're in high integrity, what is being asked to shift right now. It's a good way to really contemplate on yourself. Um, if not, things will and events will do it for you. So, you know, there's always a way to get the soul, the person to purge these energies out and see what messages that you are getting from your soul, from God. <clears throat> also, just staying in alignment with that within yourself. Um, I, I think, I believe that the full moons are at zero point. So that zero point, those, those alignment to God, that's really strong right there. We can really pull in those energies also we have the solstice this is a great time to take some time out to really contemplate what it is that you're being asked to change right now what it is that you know what subject maybe you're going to, into a new subject of learning of understanding and that is asking for some more of your attention to to come into um, those of you who are twin flame unions i do feel that those unions are going to be strengthening by the grace of God, the grace of the divine. It's all divine planned. Um, and that's kind of a good 
thing, right? We could just surrender and trust and know that the highest and best is always for us and knowing that and, st and standing in faith in that, which is really strong and a good thing to do at all times. So if you would like to contact me, my information will be below. Um, I do have a couple openings for coaching available if you're pulled to that or if you just want to email me go ahead and email me and i'll talk to you soon thank you happy holidays happy merry christmas all that good stuff <laughs> oh one more thing i do want to um mention let's you know really enjoy the holiday season and stay present with your family those that you love you know those if you miss somebody call them hey, i miss you <laughs> you know and spend time with the people that you love and they enjoy it and um really enjoy the time with them enjoy being in their presence be in the present moment and try to release anything that is bothering you just give it let it go, let go of whatever you can. All right. Well, thank you so much. Many, many blessings. <laughs>